hello everyone and welcome to neat mentor in this video we will discuss on very important topic and that will clarify your eligibility criteria in the states okay we will discuss like uh, which are the states you are eligible for for the government quota in private colleges or government seats in government colleges and in which colleges or which states you are eligible to take private seat okay in the private colleges being non domicile of that state i mean to say open state and if you want to go for nri quota seats then in which different states you are eligible and what are the different criteria whether mbbs from the state is uh, must or being just a domicile candidate or having the residential certificate proof from the state is sufficient to go for availing the state quota benefit okay so these all things we are going to discuss in this video if you are new here please do subscribe this channel first and we have so many uh, services for you in case you want our paid counseling guidance service you can visit our website neetmentor.co.in you can join our whatsapp group and telegram group the whatsapp group is just going to get over so we'll start a new group uh, along with the same uh, in case it gets filled up okay you can take our services for government dnb nb diploma for private colleges deemed universities for fcps cps admission for nri quota management quota admission depending on your score we will suggest like which one you can go for we also provide a guaranteed seat uh, service where we do everything for you and we suggest you like these are the colleges you can get out of that one will be 100% sure you can go for that package also and we have a uh, neat counseling portal a smart portal access where we get you the information of last 2 years 22 and 23 and you can uh, find it out in our pricing and packages section on the website okay so let's get us started we have uh, tried to cover almost all the states in this video and we will know like for your state what is the eligibility criteria okay so predominantly uh, in case you have done mbbs from any state okay then you are eligible for state quota and it applies to all the states the call on number 3 mbbs from this state so whether you come from any state okay you have done mbbs in particular state okay so green tick tick mark in all state it says that in case mbbs is done then you are eligible for state quota you don't need to have domicile certificate of that state but some of the states like uh, some of the uh, some of the state do not allow the candidates being just considered as domicile candidate doing mbbs from that state is compulsory which are those states where domicile is not the criteria mbbs is mandatory bihar state you must have completed mbbs from bihar then only you will apply you will be eligible for state quota even you have residency certificate in bihar you won't be eligible for state quota benefits or you can't participate for state quota for government colleges same is the case for gujarat jharkhand then uttar pradesh uttar pradesh uttarakhand maharashtra and odisha okay for these states mbbs is must okay so let's go one by one in andhra pradesh either you have domicile certificate of andhra pradesh still you can go for state quota benefits eligibility is uh, there or if you have completed mbbs from andhra pradesh then also you can avail a state quota benefits there is one catch if you have just completed mbbs then you can't avail your category benefit category benefit depends on your certificate which has to be made locally in that state so you come from uttar pradesh and you have completed your mbbs from andhra pradesh okay from a government or private medical college then you can definitely avail your state quota benefit but your category which is applicable at the all india level or the state level in up will not apply in andhra pradesh state counseling you will be considered a general category candidate okay and it applies to all the states in case of uh, in service if you are in service candidate means you are in a permanent government job as a medical officer okay then 30% seats are reserved in the government colleges or government quota okay in andhra pradesh for the private seats 
this time from the last time onwards what they have changed the cat b seats okay 15 percent of the cat b seats are only applicable for outsiders okay so cat b itself is 35 percent okay out of 35 percent 15 percent so it is coming down to just five percent of seats so it is going to be almost closed state and the cutoff will be on a higher side okay although the fee is not much it's 10 lakhs but still you are eligible even you don't have domicile have not completed mbbs from andhra pradesh still you are eligible for cat b seats for nri quota also you can apply even you don't have all are eligible for nri quota and they have nri seats coming to assam okay so either you have domicile of assam or you have completed mbbs in both cases you can avail the state quota and uh, in service candidates there is no reservation but on your score the percentage weightage will be calculated for one year 10 percent two years 20 percent three years uh, government job experience 30 percent up to 30 percent maximum bonus or incentive of the, on the score will be given to you and accordingly your rank will be calculated okay so you will get benefit in a state rank there is no private college in assam and there is no nrc at all in case of bihar state you must have completed mbbs from bihar if you are resident of bihar you are not eligible just being resident not eligible for state counseling so here also for inverse in service candidates incentives given and for the private colleges all the 100 percent seats are open even you are from Bihar or outside Bihar, you are not having any benefit in the private college. And there is no government quota in the private college. 100% seats are open. And there is NRI quota also. So anyone from anywhere in the India can go for NRI seats in private colleges in Bihar. In Chhattisgarh, either domicile or MBBS, both are eligible. For in-service incentives given and for the private seat, Okay, they have the quota for internal candidates, but outsiders are also eligible. And there is NRI seat also for that from the first round, outsiders are eligible. In case of Gujarat, you must have uh, domicile of Gujarat. Uh, you must have completed MBBS from Gujarat. Okay, just domicile of Gujarat is not sufficient. And for in-service candidates, there is 50% reservation in the diploma seats only. Okay, and uh, it's a closed state means outsiders are not non domicile candidates are not allowed to take private seat in Gujarat for the NRI seat only parents okay mother or father or in case parents are not alive then the legal guardian will be considered as NRI sponsor okay so rules are very strict for NRI in case of Haryana is open for uh, all the candidates is open state in case of in service incentives will be given and NRI seats are there, all are eligible for that. Either you have domicile of Mahar, uh, Haryana or you have completed MBS. In both the cases, you are eligible to go for state counseling, government colleges. Okay. And you can avail the government quota seat in private colleges. In case Himachal Pradesh, same rule as Haryana, both MBS and domicile are eligible to take the state benefits and NRI seats. Is open and there is just one medical college MMA Solon okay and the fee is different for state uh, candidates and the management quota fee is different there in Jharkhand there is no private college though no NRI seat incentives will be given for in-service candidates and you must have completed MBBS from here just being domicile is not sufficient in Karnataka in Karnataka either you have domicile or local of Karnataka in both cases you can avail state quota there is a GMP quota okay GM for GMP quota you must have completed 1 to 10 10 years of study okay so you are considered a local so in case you are local of Karnataka then only you are eligible for GMP the fee structure is equal to open but there is benefit because there is reservation 30 percent seats okay is reserved for in-service candidates there is no incentive uh, applied here and for private seats all are eligible except gm and gmp and for nri set seat also all are eligible so karnataka is one of the most important state where you have good score you can go for karnataka you have very poor score still you can go for karnataka because there are so many 
quotas. Now, next state is Kerala. Kerala also is open for MBBS from there or domicile. For both candidates, uh, it's, uh, it gives eligibility to participate in state counseling in reservation, in service, 10% seats are reserved and private colleges are closed means non-domicile candidates can't participate in private colleges here and for the NRA quota only the parents or like OCI candidates or PIO candidates can sponsor their education as a NRA. In case of Madhya Pradesh, okay, it's very typical. Uh, MBBS from Madhya Pradesh, yeah, you are eligible. Domicile of Madhya Pradesh, you are eligible. 30% reservation for in-service candidates and for private seats, okay, for private seats, uh, the priority is given to the home candidates, those who completed MBBS and or those who are having domicile certificate. For outsiders, they allow from round two, but after all the seats are taken in a round, okay, then only they are allotted any seats. So it's almost closed, okay. For NRI seats, everybody is open uh, starting from the first round. But then the first round also, in the first round also, the priority is given to the domicile candidates or the candidates who completed MBBS from there. Maharashtra is also having typical rule. You are a Marathi candidate having domicile of Maharashtra. Okay. And in case you completed MBBS from Maharashtra, then you are eligible. Okay. In case you completed Maharashtra, MBBS from Maharashtra, then you are eligible. Okay. But in case you completed your MBBS from uh, outside India or from other states, then you are not eligible for a state quota in even you have domicile. But in case you are domicile of Maharashtra, you completed your MBBS from any government college through All India 15% counseling of MBBS, then you are eligible. Okay. 25% reservation for in-service candidates and private seats okay, are not open for outsiders. NRI seats are open. Okay. In case of Purisa, MBBS is must. 50% reservation for in-service. So much benefit for in-service and there is no, it's not open state. For NRI seat, there is no NRI seat. Okay. In case of Pondicherry, either you have MBBS from Pondicherry or domicile of Pondicherry in both the cases, okay, you are eligible for a state quota and there is no service reservation and all the three colleges, private colleges are open for non-domicile candidates and it's, it has no NRI seat. In case of Punjab, if you have completed your MBBS from BFU, Baba Farid Court University. Okay, then you are eligible for uh, counseling here. And in case you have completed for any any other colleges, so incentive will be given for in service and for the private colleges only Adesh is open, and that too just 15% seats for outside. So it's it's also almost closed state. And for NRI seats in the private college, only the first degree native candidates are given the opportunities here. Rajasthan doesn't have NRI seat. It has uh, All India quota, state quota and uh, management quota. Incentives will be given to in-service candidates and those who uh, have completed MBBS from Rajasthan, they are eligible. Okay. Those who are having domicile, they are not eligible for government colleges, but for other colleges, private state quota. In Tamil Nadu, uh, in both cases, either MBBS or domicile, you are eligible. And here also so much reservation for in-service, 40%. And Tamil Nadu is uh, like competitive state. So many candidates, that's why you get uh, no benefit from the state quota counseling. The cutoff goes high because majority of seat is given to the in-service candidates. Okay, and in the remaining seats also, they are allowed to participate. So the cutoff goes high and those who are from Tamil Nadu, targeting government college seat, they have better chance from All India Counseling. In the private colleges, everyone is eligible, it's uh, open state. And uh, in case of NRA, only the Tamil Nadu candidates are eligible. Coming to last five states, Telangana, Tirpura and West Bengal. For these three states, the eligibility criteria for a state counseling is same. Either you have done MBBS or your domicile of the state. In both cases, you will be eligible for state quota counseling for government colleges. And Telangana is open state. Okay, so it gives opportunity to participate in the 
cat b seats for outsiders also and for nra quota as well 20% reservation for in service in tripura no nri seat no private college for pg okay uh, and it has uh, it will give incentive for the in service candidates in uttar pradesh you must have completed your mbbs from uttar pradesh just having domicile certificate is not sufficient and there is no reservation for in service but weightage will be given in terms of incentive all 100% like bihar 100% seats here in private college are open for everyone there is no benefit for state domicile candidate or state mbbs completed candidate in private colleges and there is no nri seat just one type of quota open quota and the fee is also same in uttarakhand you must have completed mbbs from uttarakhand an incentive will be given and uh, these three two colleges are there and both colleges are open for outsiders and there is no nri seat in west bengal all the colleges are open for outsiders and uh, those who completed mbbs or having domicile they will get state quota benefit and uh, low fee means semi semi colleges are there in uh, west bengal and you can go for nri seats also so west bengal is so considered as one of the state where in very low score you can uh, target seat and can get it okay so these are all things i wanted to share hope this video is useful for you and if you so uh, please like and share and then subscribe the channel okay so thanks for watching have a nice day